Good morning. You're watching Breakfast Television on City TV. A recent survey by Wedding Bells magazine found the average cost of a traditional wedding in Canada is $22,000, excluding the honeymoon. Dan Chometa from Consolidated Credit joins us now. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. What is with the overspending on weddings? Does everyone feel like they need to outdo themselves and have the biggest wedding better than their friends? Uh, it could be considered showmanship, but I think it's also the availability of credit. Uh, people are using credit cards to kind of fund their wedding. That's true. And uh, that's putting things overboard. Um, so really, I think, you know, at Consolidated, we're always talking about budgeting, and I don't think that this is any different. Uh, we really have to hone in on a budget and understand the costs and implications of all the things that we really want in that wedding. So you don't have to spend it all. You can do this within more reasonable means. Yeah, I would prefer that people don't spend it all. And in fact, if you're using your credit card, this should be an alarm bell to say, I need to cut back on some things. Okay, let's walk through our list. You guys created a, a top 10 list, I believe it is, of mm -hmm. things that you can do to help yourself manage your money throughout the wedding planning process. I think the most important thing is to give everybody some time, not only yourself, but everybody else. Communication is really the key. This is going to be the first challenge for most couples in, in that they've never had to experience a financial situation before. The wedding is going to be the biggest test. So you want to give everybody enough time to adjust, to make enough money, to pay for the wedding, and so on and so forth. If, for example, you're going over and above your budget, maybe look at picking up a second job or asking for some more hours at work to offset That's that overall. That's a great overrun. idea. If yeah. you know the wedding's coming in 10 months, you have weekends off, pick up a Saturday shift somewhere. Yeah. And, you know, the statistic you gave was on based on 125 guests. Okay. Right? So if you're thinking about having 200 guests, understand what the implications of that are with right. regards to your finances. So set some limits for the guests and also for the meal, right? Uh, you know, everybody wants to have a 10 course meal and a massive cake, but is it really necessary? You can't always do it. Right. Do it yourself, huge thing now. DIYing yeah. it, the people call it. Making and your party favors, making your centerpieces. Yeah, centerpieces, party favors, uh, invitations, because those yeah. cost a lot of money. In okay. some cases, even the, the, the photographer could be a family member. Uh, you don't necessarily have to go out of pocket. Makeup, hair, all of these things. It's a lot about networking. It's who you know, what you can put together, uh, and if you can run a shoestring budget, fantastic. And that would go with picking and choosing. Do you need the limo? Do you need to get your hair and makeup done by this person? Or can you work out a system with someone else? Right. Yeah. And is it important to both parties? Okay. Right? This last one here, interesting. No holidays. Yeah, because typically you're fighting for everybody else, caterers, uh, you know, makeup artists, things like that, in order to get them to your wedding rather right. than somebody else's or another event that they might be involved in. Okay, quick question. Some people think, though, when you're planning a wedding, you're going to get married, you're going to get a lot of presentation back, and that they'll make up that money in the long run. Is that a good way of thinking? I wouldn't bank on it. Okay. Because you can never expect a guest to put, you know, X number of dollars in an envelope for you. That's because true. Because it may not happen. And if that's the case, what's the outcome of that? Now you're stuck with the debt, and at 19, 20% on your credit card, it's going to impact you for a long period of time. That's true. Well, thank you so much for being here this morning, Thanks offering for us me. some budget tips for brides to be. There you have it. Wedding season is upon us. Be smart with your cash. Thanks. <laughs>